back on Fox 43 News at 7, where we're trying to help you organize your life. Yes, it can be done. We know your mornings are busy, busy, busier now that the kids have to get dressed, get fed, and shuttled off to the bus up. And, yeah, you have to get ready as well. Amy Vogue from Simplified Living in Virginia Beach, here now with the best ways to make your morning a little less hectic. How do you do that? Yeah, mornings can be really stressful, right, when yeah. school starts. But even if the kids aren't in school, it's just the morning seem like this crunch time. Yeah. So what I'm going to share with you this morning are organizing your life for busy mornings and give you some really simple ideas. It's always easier to find 5 to 15 minutes at night yeah. than yeah. 5 to 15 minutes in the morning. And so the first things I'm going to share with you are pack your lunch boxes for your kids or yourself the night before. Okay. If there are things like that them. you, like soup that you need to prepare in the morning, you can do that really quickly and stick it in there. But right. then pack them and stick them in the refrigerator. They're done. And sometimes in the morning, that's like the last thing you have time for. Right. I actually do that. I do that just because we get up so early. Right. And actually, for you know, for Carrie and me, um, we, our husbands, kind of deal with all that morning madness. So, so it needs to be done. It needs to be done. I, I do the lunches the night before, but sometimes it's just like, oh, I got to do the lunches. You know, it's exactly. like you don't want to necessarily do it. But and do with that. the lunches, sometimes it's easier to pre prepare maybe two or three lunch ideas at the same time and have them just set okay, in the that's fridge. A great idea. Yeah, and so then you just put it in the lunchbox for that day. Every Sunday. Help the kids pick out their four to five outfits that they're going to wear and have them lay it out. We hear that we see all kinds of little gadgets to help store those. But then I say don't let them change their mind unless the weather changes. And then we'll listen to John for the weather changes. Yes, we have to listen to John. Okay. <laughs> so get the outfits done. That way you're not having any arguments in the morning about clothing for school. Right. Have the backpacks ready at the door the night before. So right. without the lunch boxes in them, but have everything there zipped up ready at the door, which also brings me to the next point of having a place to corral everything Thing, shoes, jackets, especially as the weather does change, anything that you're going to be hunting for in the morning, have it corralled in one place. And usually by the door is the best place to do it. And you can do a basket or a row of hooks, anything okay. that would work for your family that you have room for. The big thing for younger kids, I would say you can really do this up until they're teens or tweens, is make a task list. This is actually one of ours. Get dressed, put your clothes in the hamper, make the bed. And as they, they can just read this through, and it will become habit. Okay. Your kids will go, okay, I got dressed. What do I do next? For the moms and the dads, make a task list of the maybe the top five things you need to do in the morning. Right. Because you're, I tell folks this all the time. Your brain will fail you. And you will wake up in the night trying to remember what you need to remember right. for the morning. So make your task list before you go to bed. Okay, how do you get kids to help? Yeah, well, the motivation thing is the big deal is to kind of get them moving in the morning because you yourself are not so interested in getting out the door necessarily, and your kids certainly don't either. So, and yeah, time seems to go like this in the exactly. morning. So, exactly. this t um, task list does really help the kids okay. get on board. Whatever time you say, okay, we need 45 minutes for them to get ready, I would encourage you to begin to back that up until you have a cushion of 15 minutes. Okay. So, they begin to wake up a little bit earlier so that it's relaxed. It's not this crunch time. This is my favorite idea. This is our fun jar. Okay. And our family contributes ideas into this jar. So maybe it's um, getting ice cream. Maybe it's going to the movies, bowling. So like those are slips of paper? Right this is chalk because oh. you can write it on there. But, <laughs> okay. I, but you would put slips of paper in here. Everybody contributes an idea. And set a goal for your family. Maybe four out of the five days that they stay on task. Then at the end of the week, they get to pull an idea out of the fun jar okay. and go do the fun idea. Get ice cream Aww. on Friday. Right, right. Go get, um, you know, maybe a new piece of Lego, right. anything like that. So that reward thing. Yes. At the end of the week, something to look forward to after you've gone through the hard mornings. Yes. Something fun for the so end. So getting ready the night before and then having some reward. And the number one cardinal rule I would say to folks is don't let your kids do the cartoons in the morning. Okay. That way you're not trying to get them away and back on task. Right. Always great tips. Always, always, always. Thanks very much. Yes. Good luck. Till next time. To get in touch with Amy, we're going to link her information to ours at fox43tv.com. Just click on that news at 7 button. Yeah. Carrie?